Welcome to another broadcast with Gian. You will listen to a short reflection that will inspire you, challenge you, and enlighten you. Now our host, Gian. Nine one one, boom. <laughs> That's the way that we react sometimes, right? There's an emergency. We need to call nine one one. But actually, what is what we should consider an emergency? You know, I remember being with friends that they are attached to their phones like uh, a little bit too much. And you know what they have said to me all the time? Just in case of an emergency, they say. And I say to them, well, I understand. But what can you do when you are far away from the person that is calling you if that person is in an emergency? Think about that. Because if it's a, there isn't an emergency, probably the police or the paramedics, they can come faster than you when you are far distance from this person that is calling you in the event of an emergency. Think about it. You know, the whole thing for those individuals that are so afraid that something can happen to others is, it's precisely fear. Are you one of those people that are always afraid that an emergency can happen to your loved ones and you have to be available for them? You know, in, in the Bible we see, we read the story of Job. And you know precisely was fear in my opinion, the reason of his disasters. He was afraid that his sons, his daughters, they will get into some bad deal. So he was presenting sacrifices to God just in case they were doing the wrong thing. Of course they were doing the wrong thing. Well, Job knew about that. Why he didn't talk to them? <laughs> so when you are so concerned about emergencies with your children, well, think about it. You know, if they are well trained and they are doing the right thing, more likely you will not have emergencies. Have you? Think about your own life. How many times you have been in a true emergency in your whole life? You see my point. So it's important that you learn to live relaxed, my friend. Don't be frightened thinking that something is going to happen, that you have to be there available. And even if you were available, you are not going to do much. I remember visiting the friend, uh, the house of my friend, Dave Cox, my father-in-law, when he was alive. And I got that thing from his home. You know, the sign outside of his home. The first time that I come to see them and meet them, I laugh immediately when I read that. He says, here in Texas, we don't call 911. <laughs> and you know what else was in the sign? <laughs> you know what? This is Texas. Because honestly, my friend, in the event of an emergency, there are more possibilities that you, being involved in the emergency, can do something about it. Think about it. Emergencies happen, I understand. You are involved in a car accident, well, there is an emergency, right? You are in your home and you're being attacked or... What, you know, there are emergencies, I, I get that. But today I want to talk to two type of people. One is the one that is afraid that something is going to happen, it has to be available. Chill, relax. You need to have your own time for yourself. Go to the movies, put the phone away. Your children are not going to die out of starvation just because... They have to put their sandwich out of the fridge and eat. You get it? Stop that being frightened for that. Or your mother, ill, or... No! You need to have time for yourself sometimes and put the phone away. Go to sleep and put the phone, whether it's in vibrate mode or turn it off. Okay? But on the other hand, I want to talk to you. When you go through an emergency situation... You think about it before calling 911. Because probably you can resolve the situation. 
And in all case, my friend, what if you are just calling 911 because you want to threat somebody? That's not right. Imagine individuals truly working on the 911 department, emergency departments everywhere in the country. They don't have time for jokes. They don't have time for people that are just upset one another and calling my husband this, my wife this, my brother-in-law this, my this, you know, my neighbor this, and complaining all the time, my friends. Life is such a precious gift. Treasure your life. Take advantage of every day. Free, live freely. And if there are toxic relationships that bring so much drama to you, find a way to push them away. Look for calm, tranquility, and peace. In the Lord God, you can have a life that you don't ever need to call 911. He is your 911. In fact, a wonderful scripture is Psalm 91, verse 1. Now, I'm going to ask Jeho, my editor now, to put here on the screen Psalm 911 for you. It's all about learning to live under the coverage and blessing of God by doing the right thing. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Geon TV app. With the Geon TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, MyNewMentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to MyGianCarlo.com. There is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in MyGiancarlo.com, I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. 
the blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. Thank you for investing time with Victory Church Odessa. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, vchurch.us, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. Our address is 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764. Our Sunday worship service begins at 10 a.m. Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at vchurch.us. Feel free to share this program with your family and friends. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.